In this video, we are presenting Ted Bundy, American serial killer and rapist. Ted Bundy was one of the most notorious criminals of the late 20th century, known to have killed at least 36 women in the 1970. He was executed in the electric chair in 1989. Ted Bundy was a 1970s serial murderer, rapist, and necrophiliac. He was executed in Florida's electric chair in 1989. His case has since inspired many novels and films about serial killers. Ted Bundy's parents, Eleanor Lewis Cowell, who went by Lewis, was 22 years old and unmarried when she gave birth to her son Ted. Ted's father may have been Lloyd Marshall, an Air Force veteran and Penn State graduate according to Anne Rue, a co-worker of Ted's and the author of the book The Stranger Beside Me. Other sources had Ted's father name as Jack Worthington, while some rumors had it that his father was also his grandfather because Ted's birth certificate lists his father as unknown, his biological father's identity may never be confirmed. Bundy was born in Burlington, Vermont on November 24, 1946. Bundy started life as his mother's secret shame, as his illegitimate birth humiliated her deeply religious parents. Louise delivered Ted at home for unwed mothers in Vermont and later brought her son to her parents in Philadelphia. To hide the fact he was an illegitimate child, Bundy was read as adopted son of his grandparents and was told that his mother was his sister. Eleanor moved with Bundy to Tacoma, Washington a few years later and soon married his stepfather Johnny. From all appearances, Bundy grew up in a content working class family. He showed an unusual interest in the maker bar at early age. Around the age of three, he became fascinated by knives. A shy but bright child, Bundy did well in school but not with his peers. As a teenager, a darker side of his character started to emerge. Bundy liked to peer in other people's windows and throw out nothing of stealing things he wanted from other people. Bundy confessed to 36 killings of young women across several states in 1970s, but experts believe that the final tally may be closer to 100 or more. The exact number of women Bundy killed will never be known. His killings usually followed a gruesome pattern. He often raped his victims before beating them to death. While there is some debate as to when Bundy started killing, most sources say that he began his murderous rampage around 1974. Around this time, many women in Seattle area and in nearby Oregon went missing. Stories circulated about some of the victims last being seen in the company of young, dark-haired men known as Ted. He often lured his victims into his car by pretending to be injured and asking for their help. Their kindness proved to be a fatal mistake. In the fall of 1974, Bundy moved to Utah to attend law school, and women began disappearing there as well. The following year, he was pulled over by the police. A search of his vehicle uncovered a catch of burglary tools, a crowbar, face mask, rope, and handcuffs. He was arrested for possession of these tools and the police began to link him to much more sinister crimes. In 1975, Bundy was arrested in the kidnapping of Carol DeRange, one of the few women to escape his clutches. He was convicted and received a 1-2-15 year jail sentence. Bundy's good looks, 
charm and intelligence made him something of a celebrity during his trial. Bundy fought for his life, but was convicted and spent nine years on a death row appealing his death sentence. Thank you for watching this video and seeing the next one.